Two, one. Yo, what's up? I am They Flower. This game is called Robot Wants Kitty. Uh, quick shout outs to Bert Sasquatch for finally breaking the world record of 420 that used to exist for like half a year. And Grandpa Glasses for getting this on speedrun.com before me. And in this game, you're a robot. You're trying to get a kitty, hence the name Robot Wants Kitty. It's a nice cute little flash action platformer in which we have to get some boxing gloves to break down barricades. Timing starts when I hit play game, so I'm gonna do three, two, one, go. Three, two. Alright, cool. Three, two, one, go. I saw chat really enjoying the music, and that's nice. So this is an upgrade based game. Currently, I'm not even able to jump. That's the jump upgrade right here. Right here, this is a checkpoint. I want to jump over it and skip it because I'm going to be taking a few intentional deaths. And I bonked my head on the ceiling there because jumps in this game have a set height that they always go to. Uh oh. Alright. I was a little slow there, so I have to just wait for the squid. That's fine. I sort of have to wait for the robot after every jump, and that makes this game a little bit slower. If I can just hit that robot and reverse him. Oh shit. So here we can get a really good view of the robot having its really tall jump. And up there's the green boxing glove that we're about to get. One thing I like about this game is that it sort of gives you a peek at all the future upgrades you'll be going for. For example, we're about to grab the double jump there on the bottom right. We did get a short glimpse at it when we... Oh my god. Alright, we get to do the climb like a fourth time. I gave myself a pretty generous estimate though, so as long as we don't have a too bad late game, this is going to be fine. Yeah, up there, that's the green boxing glove. Let's try this again. Alright. Alright, death warp here. And if we were to grab that first checkpoint, it would be way back there. And here we're going to get to see me head bonk it a little bit more to save a tiny amount of time. So we grab the green boxing glove, that means we can open the green gates. That's a very nice looking boxing glove. Yeah. This game actually has pretty nice art, and like something I've been saying throughout all of NASA, if a game has satisfying sounds, it's going to be really good. This section I like to call Squid Hell, because when I was like first learning this game and played it casually, like it really gave me hell and it's just full of squids. I was like, damn it, Squid Hell. But it's fine. That was a really nice squid hell. So right there we just punched down that barricade with the green, green boxing glove. Now we got the boost upgrade, which lets us just go extremely fast. Alright, I'm gonna kill all three of these robots, just to prevent future chokes. So right here we have a red barricade, we're gonna need the red boxing glove to break it down. And that's just through this room. I'm just going to play it extremely safe here because I've gotten bad luck with my execution so far. Alright, so here's the red boxing glove. It's not that they say it's not a boxing glove when it very clearly is. Yeah. That's like, that is the one flaw that this game has. Oh no. That's cool. I really like that room because it's just satisfying. So when I was first playing this game, I would have to like jump up and kill all those two robots that I'm sort of sidestepping. But instead I get to do that really cool strat where I just sort of jump past everything. Uh, also, one fun thing is if you compare the in-game timer to what's right above my head, you'll see that they're extremely different. The in-game timer goes up by 20 seconds every time the robot dies. And it also goes down by one second every time I kill a squid or a robot. 
I go to the right here, there's a like mini boss that lets me get a machine gun upgrade, which isn't useful and doesn't save time. All right, this is the upward boost, so let's just boost back over here. I can rock it forward. This lets me go up the two where I was previously sort of blocked. The squid hell's down to my left. I go up here, and it's gonna sound really bad for a little bit. And hopefully I get a good cycle and I can just YOLO boost through all of this. Awesome. Alright, and we're gonna have to just wait here for a little bit, because when a robot falls, there's no terminal velocity, it'll just keep accelerating downwards. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill both of these squids, because now that I've sort of moved away, the enemies up top there have despawned and respawned. I'm gonna wait for these robots. Cool, we're, like, very nearing the end of the game. Get ready on time. So I got the missiles. So in the beginning of the game, we saw the kitty and it was sort of blocked by these red blocks. We're gonna destroy them, go up here, go over here, and time. Time. Woo! That's Robot Once Kitty. In eight minutes, two seconds, IGT, and 554 RTA. I think that's technically a PB because it's faster than the time I have on speedrun.com. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, Robot at Once actually is a really nice series that has a plot in between the games. There's Robot Once Puppy, Robot Once Fishy, and Robot Once Ice Cream. And I'm not going to spoil that because hopefully for the next year, I'm going to learn how to play those games very fast. And then maybe next NASA I'll do all three in a row. And we'll get to see the beautiful plot twists that happen throughout. So that's basically everything I have to say. Uh, Stump, any final thoughts before we set up for TF2? Ice game. <laughs> yeah. Cool.